The film represents New York as most New Yorkers experience it, which is this very cosmopolitan, polygot place where people are speaking, you know, people are rubbing up against each other all the time. Oh, I mean, that's the New York I know, you know, that really is. I mean, it's hard, for me, it's hard to avoid that. There's obviously directors who've made careers out of showing a very specific niche of New York, and uh, and that exists also, we, as we know that. People can be very sort of clannish in New York, but I think if you just walk down the street and keep your ears open, you're going to hear five or six languages on your way to any, you know, restaurant or, or bookstore. So I, I think that's what we're sort of uh, uh, we're going for a little bit with this movie and, and a lot of this you know like for instance with Zainab's character you know I did a lot of research I spent a lot of time in these markets I have friends from other countries who sell in these markets and you sit in these places and it's amazing it literally it's almost it's almost comical how many countries are represented at these places and I think also, you know, when you're making a film at this budget, uh, sometimes budget uh, dictates aesthetic. And and I think very early on, my uh, cinematographer, Oliver Bolkelberg, who's German, who's an immigrant to this country, and I were like, you know, we want to show the New York we know, the sort of backdoor, the insider's guide. You know, most New Yorkers don't witness the sweeping overhead shots of the financial district. You know, you just don't see that when you look out your window. You normally see another window or something. And I think uh, that was sort of our, our direction in approaching the script. I, I love scenes like where Walter and Moon are in the kitchen together, and he's got to step back so she can get coffee. It's like, that's the New York I know, you know. If someone comes into my kitchen, I know it. And, uh, and I think that's what we're kind of going for.